Okay, so here it is, a video that everyone's been waiting for. The pneumatic assisted pump video, right here. Now I'm going to start it off by saying that I can't talk very well. I had all four wisdom teeth pulled yesterday, so I'm just a little, little out of it. So uh, just try to bear with me here. I just wanted to get this video up for you guys that have been waiting for it. So as you can see, there's a WGP right feet body 2K plus specs. Um, KAPP Twister LPR. And stock 2004 Pro Stock Chrome 3A right there. And right now a Psycho Ballistics RAM with two Eclipse QVs. And I'm going to talk to Jaykurt or maybe even um, John from Asset Customs about milling down the front of this KAPP fat ram or if I find the guts for it this Bell Cells 44 um, one thing I like that Jaykurt did was instead of threading the front block here what he did was he just drilled the hole and they're all set screwed in so if I would need if I ever need to take this front block off I can just unscrew the pump guide and unscrew the set screws and slide it off I don't have to twist off the ram or twist off the three-way because then I would have to take all the uh, bar fittings off and everything. As you can see the uh, three-way kind of fits into the body right there. The ram just sits on top of it. It doesn't. It sits in the little channel there. Um, Jaker did all the milling for this. He drilled and tapped the pump arm for the uh, the back block here, you see it's on the wrong side, it would usually be on this side. He put windows in the body on both sides. He made this entire pump kit with Hitman mod and he made the front block. And the thing that he did for me that was really nice was um, instead of just having one pump guide and the, uh, the what's it called, three-way shaft here. Um, instead of just having those two to hold it and keep from binding because you could bend the three-way shaft in there what he did was right down here there's a screw on the bottom side of it and there's a channel inside the pump guide and whenever that screw is in it keeps it from binding so you can see there's very little wobble at all that way I don't break my three-way shaft anyway I have a Palmer's uh, stabilizer but it won't go down to velocity. I mean, uh, the pressure, it won't go down enough pressure. So I used a CP1 for now. And I have it shooting anywhere from 270 to 290 with reballs. As you guys all know, reballs aren't that consistent. But right now, um, Deadly Wind, 679 insert reballs. Hopefully, I don't get any rollouts, but, you know, reballs are kind of small. I um, also have an Eclipse trigger frame raw that was going to have anodized with the body but I need right there you see I need that adjustment screw the one non, no, not the one in the frame the one actually on the trigger here in the middle and it's some kind of metric size I also need two more one for right there and one for up here if you guys know where I can find those trigger screws or it can, if you guys know if I can just call plenty of clips and get some I really need those because can't find them anywhere. But this is not the uh, final stage, but it's working right now, no leaks. So I thought I'd put a video up for you guys. So here we go. more all right so there it is as you can see the pump stroke it's real as 
and the Hitman mod. I'll try to zoom in a little even more here. See how uh, little the pump truck is. This is all the way forward. And it's cocked. So really all you gotta do is just touch it and it'll go. So as you can see here, the full body shot. The other side of it. You can see the bolt moving around in there. So anyway, I don't know if you guys can hear it or now, but there's uh, springs rattling around in there. I need some tuning still. The reg's not sweet spotted or anything, but I finally got it up to velocity, so I wanted to give you guys a look at it. Anyway, here it is one more time. And also, one thing I got to point out, Jaker, it, it's just great. From here, right now, I have these big old screws sticking out here and here, but I'm going to have some set screws eventually. But the thing he did was, instead of just milling straight back, which is the easy, cheap way to do it, he milled them all at an angle, so whenever there are set screws, you won't see those holes. And as you can see, there's I have one set screw in there now. There's no hole here for the uh, to set the three-way in there. It's actually underneath it, right there. So it gives it a nice cleaner look. And the same thing with the, um, to lock in the three-way here. You can see the uh, screw sticking out, but once I get a set screw in there, you won't see that at all, and it'll be nice and clean. So, thank you, Jaker. That's it.